In today's show, we have a story about Disney Plus and a stand up on Life Drawing Night. I'm Cade. And I'm Kylie. And this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. All students interested in doing Battle of the Bands need to meet in Chromie's room E3 during activity period. Tonight is Life Drawing Night. Let's go to Emory to find out more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. LaDuke and he's going to talk to us about Life Drawing Night tonight. So what is it? So Life Drawing is uh, something that our art club does once a month. It's the first Tuesday of every month from 6 to 7.30. And it's just an evening where we get together like-minded artists to draw the human figure and uh, it's open to anybody in the community. It's a great opportunity for people to build their portfolio and uh, continue to work on their, uh, their drawing abilities. Uh, why should people come? Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for uh, people to meet others who like to do what they like to do. And you know, drawing is one of those things where the more you practice, the better you get at it. And you know, working from direct observation is one of the best ways to, to draw better. So all of those things. All right, thanks, thank you, Mr. LaDuke. Now back to your ink. Make sure you go tonight. Final schedules are a little different this year. Make sure to check out the link on Schoology for this year's schedule. Students who would like to join the Writing Center staff next semester should see Ms. Sands in room W7 for an application. Those applications are due December 17th. Now to sports after this short commercial break. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, we're going to start a new unit today. We're going to be on the presidency. Go ahead and take out your computers, please. When using technology, remember to do the following follow teacher instructions, use only your computer passwords and keep them private. Be sure to report all technology problems. Keep your computer in the case and charged at all times. Use your computer for appropriate use only. Be a Viking. Practice good digital citizenship. Seaman strong. Hey, I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much more widespread area of snow. This year's basketball sc scrimmage is tonight. The girls game starts at 5.30 and will be followed by the boys game. Admission is only one gently used towel. Tryouts for the SHS bowling team begin December 9th at Westridge Lanes. Students must have all physical forms turned in before tryouts. This Thanksgiving was pretty cold. Josh is here to tell us if it might get even worse. Good afternoon. Before we get into the future, we are going to take a look at the past. So, like Kate said, Thanksgiving was cold, but as we take a look back at the break as a whole, we hit 59 degrees on Saturday, so that wasn't too bad for the first half of the weekend. 
our low was 22 right before school started yesterday morning. So that still counted as break. And then we had over three quarters of an inch of rainfall, less than a tenth of an inch Tuesday evening after school, and then more Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Snowfall, we actually ended up picking up a tenth of an inch. Snow on Thanksgiving Day was not measurable, but some flurries Saturday night into Sunday did officially accumulate to a tenth of an inch. And then the big story for the weekend was the very windy conditions. We had a wind gust up to 49 miles per hour early Sunday morning. So yeah, it was an active stretch of weather over break and now we finally get a chance to catch our breath. Here's a look at the weather for today. 54 degrees after school, dropping into the 40s by five o'clock. Our sunset is now right around five o'clock. So we will drop down into the mid 40s by seven o'clock this evening. Now looking ahead to Thursday, this is when our next system arrives. It's gonna be very weak overall, but you can see a few colors on here, some gray, maybe a little green, even some blue in southeastern Colorado. This means that we're looking at more cloud cover late in the day Thursday, and there could even be a few spits and sprinkles for areas in far southern Kansas and over into southern Missouri as well. Here, not looking at anything measurable in terms of rainfall. Here's a, here's a look at the seven-day forecast. You can see we stay mild for the next few days. That System does bring some cooler air for Thursday, 41, but mostly sunny skies, and we're back up into the 50s as we head toward the weekend. And looking in the longer range, above average temperatures and above average precipitation look to affect the region between December 10th and December 16th. That's the exact opposite of what we saw in November with below average temperatures and below average precipitation. So kind of a flip in the weather pattern is on the way. Now, Kylie and Cade, back to you. Thanks, Josh. You're the man. Recently, in early November, a new streaming service took over. We got the scoop on people's thoughts on Disney+. Plus. Something's happening. Something extraordinary. Walt Disney Studios has made something to add on to the fast-spreading streaming epidemic worldwide. Disney Something Plus made exciting. its debut on November 12th. What do you know about Disney Plus? Well, I know that it has a lot of movies that my daughter had when she was a kid and we didn't have access to sometimes. So I'm pretty excited about that fact. What have you heard about it? I've heard it's got like all of the Marvel movies and all of the Star Wars movies and a whole bunch of Disney stuff. Do you think that it's overhyped? Probably. That's kind of everything is. Do you think it's overhyped? Yes. I don't know. What do you guys know about it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Uh, the new Star Wars series. Which is? The Mandalorian. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Um, Monsters University. Do you like Disney Plus? Yes, it's cool. Um, what's your favorite show on there so far? I don't know that I've watched any of the shows, but definitely accessing a lot of the movies. So, yeah. So you mentioned movies. What's your favorite one? I know that my daughter's favorite movie was Beauty and the Beast, but the first movie that my husband wanted to watch was Aladdin. So, you know, it makes me sing along. I do sing, so, you know, I can sing along with all the movies. Within 12 days of the app opening, more than 15.5 million app downloads have occurred. Disney Plus is making its mark in the streaming community. But I'm sure glad I have Disney Plus. Me too. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We will catch you in the news tomorrow.